As you may or may not have seen, there has been a really, really weird teaser that Epic Games just put out to tease the Big Bang Live event. And has PBJ figured it out? He might have. He's called stuff before, so we are going to react to his video discussing the new leak from Epic Games. We're going to get into it in just a second. Before we do, though, I do want to say hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's get started. Fortnite just released a very confusing video. Lots of jokes are being made. This is what happens whenever you use the Fortnite shield mushroom. But what does this <laughs> video actually mean? He actually has like such low-key good humor. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Mm. Well, it's a teaser for the Big Bang event. Fortnite tweeted with it, A galaxy is a container of worlds that abide by its own set of rules. Galaxies unknown leave opportunities for new rules. So yes, this is obviously eh? a teaser for the event. But what does it mean? We know that the event is called Big Bang, and well, what is the Big Bang? It's a theory that two things colliding creates everything. And that theory involves a universe that continues to get bigger and bigger and Eminem, Travis Scott coming together. That's what it is, imagine. As time moves on, where it's everlastingly expanding. Obviously, this theory is a little silly, but... <laughs> Obviously, this theory's a little silly. The, the little jab at the Big Bang. I always talk about that, man. I always talk about the actual Big Bang theory is so ridiculous, in my opinion. For this case, it's supposed to work. The Zero Point was also known as the Big Bang in some Fortnite comics. I actually... Did they... Wait, did they mention the Zero Point? I... Oh, hmm. They mentioned the Zero Point, like, literally as the Big Bang, or, like, maybe it was the event, the, the everything being born. I guess you could go to it. Maybe we're going to actually go back in time to the Big Bang or we're gonna extract the zero point and cause another Big Bang, making the universe to be, well, expanding more. Well, that's the weird thing, because if the zero point, like, the zero point is being extracted by Kevin now, so maybe the Big Bang could happen from that, but another thing is, we have that other teaser with the rocket and the time machine, so I would imagine at some point we're gonna be using the time machine. What if we actually go back to the very beginning? What if we actually go back that far, because we know the black hole's coming back, Maybe the Big Bang is literally traveling back in time to the beginning of everything and having the Big Bang. Why do we need the universe to expand? Well, it would eventually open up the possibility for all these other universes to be there. Which okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Am I the only one who hasn't thought about the Big Bang being reality expanding? The universe expanding? I just thought of it as the creation of everything. Like, I understand that, don't get me wrong, I understand the Big Bang theory completely, but... I never thought about Fortnite using the Big Bang as in expanding the universe. Oh my god. Am I stupid or was I the only one thinking that? Because again, I was just thinking about the creation of everything. Not that it's always expanding. And the Big Bang Theory suggests that the universe is forever expanding. Wow. Which would be the, the Lego universe and the racing universe. But what does this video have anything to do with it? And that's well, the teaser. what if this is actually what it looks like when we're time traveling back in time? Or this is what we'll look like whenever we are actually causing the Big Bang. Or maybe this is what it looks like when we're entering a new universe. Or Honestly, it could be any of those, like for real. <laughs> or maybe this is what it looks like whenever we are doing something to create a new universe. We have no idea, really. These are a few good guesses, and I assume really it's just when we're traveling through time. There's not really a for sure answer. Just right now is what we can assume is that it's actually related to time traveling. Well, this image, the very trippy part of it, is actually looks like a flower. And not just any flower, it looks like the same flower that the zero point makes when it's blooming. This I was always wondering if they would bring this back because there was like such significance with it back in the day, you know? It could very well, and if you want to take a little bit of a stretch with it, it looks like you can take everything off of it and connect it to all these different realities, right? A little bit of a stretch, but we still, as far as I know at least, and I'm pretty involved in the lore, we don't know exactly why the zero point blooms. Zero point usually does this when it's on its last life. Where, it But is that confirmed? That's my question. Because I've heard people say that, I just don't know if that's the case. I haven't seen it myself. It's really, really damaged, and it's needing something to help it. We saw this in Chapter 2, Season 6, so what if this is actually season. what it is? What if the Zero Point breaks fully, and then it does this, and we actually end up saving it somehow? That's just a theory, and I have no idea where it could lead. But I'm really excited to see where this goes, and how we're gonna get to Chapter 5. Now, this wasn't the only teaser that we've gotten so far. We've gotten a teaser from the other day where it was a video mm. of the rocket flying into the air. 
that's the weird thing. You know what's funny is I actually didn't catch it until you guys pointed it out on stream that it was flashing blue and that's the time machine. I don't know what I was thinking, but... I made a whole video about it before, but I'll quickly do a little recap. This rocket went into the air and it started flashing with electricity. Whenever this electricity flashed, it actually caused a weird little sound. Back to the future. We can assume that this sound is actually the time machine. Because in the game right now, the time machine is currently strapped to the rocket. It's gotta be. And we can assume that they're gonna use the rocket to somehow bring something back in time or to the future. Now, are we gonna be traveling with the rocket back in time? Or are we gonna be hitting the rocket to the zero point, causing it to go back in time? Hmm... That's interesting, man. That's why it's so exciting for this event. That's why I'm so happy there's no leaks for it. Because this is what we love about Fortnite theorizing. Like, I can see all these different possibilities happening, you know? In this little video, we can actually see that the cube is missing. The whole cube oh. island is missing, actually. I don't know how this ended up happening, but we're gonna have to wait until the event to see. What if the cube actually succeeds this time, and it can actually cause the zero point enough damage to actually get destroyed? Hear me out. Since this image does look like when the zero point is destroyed, it's almost like it's blooming. What All of that could work, though. This could be like when we're rifting into new realities. It could be the zero point blooming. It could be the beginning of the Big Bang. Why do all of those actually make so much sense? But if the cube succeeds and destroys the zero point, the time machine is rumored to run off of rifts. Maybe that's why we've strapped it to the rocket. Because during the end event, the rocket rifts over 10 times. It, it rifts like 50 times. What if every time that the rocket rifts, we actually get flung through a different point of time? So the rocket rifts and we rift with it. That actually like be best case scenario for the event in my opinion. For like fan service wise, we're in this OG season of throwback. We could finally go back to all the events, the POIs that weren't there, polar peak with the infinity blade, or more specifically probably all of the events. I think it'd be super cool. But just not to that place, instead to a different point in time. We could rift all the way back to chapter 1 season 5 when the cube originally spawned and then go back to the map. And then whenever we rift again, we'll teleport back in time to like chapter 2 season 2 and whenever Midas was here. Like what if we got a recap of all of the events during this? Mm -hmm. And then eventually every time that we flash back to chapter 1, we actually see how the cube is working and it's actively destroying the zero point. And whenever we actually get back, what if the zero point gets destroyed and we get to see this image that they posted? Man. Since it looks like the bloom, what if this is what happens when you destroy the zero point? There is literally so much you can do with that. I love it, man. This is the best part about Fortnite events. Guys, if you are not subscribed to PBJ, you need to go check out PBJ. You need to go check out PBJ and the Fortnite Everything podcast that you could see on his screen, by the way. Absolutely fantastic content over there. I always love reacting to the videos. PBJ, if you happen to be watching this, thank you for letting me react to your video. I really appreciate it. And, it, like, the deep dives this guy can do, man. He's so good with this Fortnite storyline. He's so good with what he does. This is what I love about it. This is what I love about not having leaks for the event. This is what I love about not knowing what's going to happen with the storyline. This is what I love about not knowing about Chapter 5. We don't know how this is going to work. And then we can have all these videos like this really predicting everything. It's so much fun. That is the best part about the event. I'm so glad and I'm still a little skeptical on whether or not it's going to get leaked. I hope not, but we can hope for the best. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any predictions down below. Go check out PBJ. But if you'd like to continue watching this channel, I'll have three videos on the screen for you right now. One might be taking up my face. Regardless, the one closest to me, YouTube, thinks you like the best. Above that is the rising difficulties of living and dating as a gamer. And then right there, you have the complete guide to fixing Fortnite. I will see you either there or in the next video, everybody. Take care.